what is that process like for you of being a little bit more to two instead of one? What, what do you have to do differently there? Yeah, I mean, it's just learning more about my game and learning more about myself and um, growing. So I think, uh, I mean, the coaches think that's best for me. I think it's best for me as well. So, I mean, I might got to grow in some areas and while I do that, I think it's good to, you know, let other guys um, create our offense more and um, they want me to be more aggressive scorer. So me being off the ball, I don't have to worry about, you know, um, controlling the offense and stuff like that. So that will uh, put a little less, a little less pressure off me so I can uh, put a little more focus into getting the ball through. Have, have you felt like there's been a, too much pressure on your shoulders, or have you been, do you feel like you've been trying to do too much in that role? Um, I want to say, uh, I mean, I think we all got, we all have pressure on this team, so I mean, I think that's for everybody. But uh, I mean, I think there was games where I tried to do too much, and that's just me uh, finding the balance in between being aggressive and um, knowing, you know, when to make the right plays and stuff like that. Because at the end of the day, I know I can take care of the ball if I have to. Um, I can limit my turnovers, but I think the turnovers come when I try to put myself in situations that you know aren't best for the team or get too sped up and stuff like that. So I'm going to slow down. Is that still like adapting to this level versus things that you could do in high school? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, just like getting too deep in the lane, um, leaving my feet without having a place to uh, put the ball and stuff like that. Things that I could get away with in high school, um, I'm starting to learn aren't working here and stuff like that. So um, it's a learning situation for me. Um, you know, it's been hard on me. Um, and stuff like that, but uh, I'm also I've also grown from it and improved in a lot of areas along the way. I'm curious what you thought when you watched your performance at Indiana because it had a lot of good mm -hmm. and it had a little bit of the stuff you just talked about yeah. with getting caught up in the air. It had some stuff that probably never happened to you before where you had a breakaway and got away from you. Yeah. Just wonder what that's like for you, an elite player at previous levels where you're getting educated or going through some adversity here mm -hmm. as a freshman. Um, yeah, it's not easy, um, just because I know a lot of people depend on me, and um, you know I, I wasn't there for my team, and um, you know that was hard on me. But I also know um, that this is a team game, and we all could have done things to step up our role and stuff like that. So that was definitely probably one of the hardest games on me mentally. But um, my teammates and coaches got my back. Um, you know they know what type of game I play and what kind of player I am. So um, you know it was a bad game, and. Um, you know, really all I can do is just go back in the film, look what I did wrong, and, you know, try to try to fix it and make sure it doesn't happen again, and, you know, that's what I'm trying to do. Basketball is a reaction game. You're an athlete. You've reacted and succeeded throughout your career. How much can you take film to brain to court? Is that, yeah. a, is that something you're learning for the first time in your basketball career? Um, no, I wouldn't say learning, but uh, definitely more emphasis on it. Um, didn't watch this much film in high school, but... I definitely watched a lot of film in high school just because I love basketball. I love watching the game of basketball. So, um, you know, just being able to watch my film, that's easy to do, just, you know, learning stuff from that. So um, I think here there's more of an emphasis on it, and I'm learning more from it because, um, you know, when you watch film by yourself, it's harder to identify stuff and stuff like that. But when you have a coach that knows the game more than you and can point out stuff like that, that's re that really helps uh, your game. So I definitely think there's been more emphasis on it since I've been here. This is going to sound like just an abrupt question, but what's going on with you guys? You're number two in the country, mm -hmm. you're out of the top 25. DJ Carton's perspective on that journey, what's going on? Yeah, I mean, um, I think we, uh, you know, we started off really hot, and uh, you know, I, I, I know, I knew we weren't going to be perfect all season. I knew we were going to hit a wall at some point, and I knew it was going to happen, and we all did. So, um, really, uh, I think it's just, you know. The whole overall team chemistry just needs to become better. We need to be more connected on the floor, and we need to uh, bring more of a passion to this game. And I think, you know, that's what we kind of miss. We kind of miss that passion that people play with that we were uh, at the beginning of the season. And um, overall, just being more connected on the floor and, and playing for each other, I think, is uh, the biggest thing that we need to switch up. Uh, picking up on that, um, passion, toughness, mm -hmm. or lack of toughness, yeah. I guess. Uh, is that an issue on this team? I know that's been a word that's been thrown out. How much more since league play began, conference play, have you been surprised at just toughness, whether it's mentally or physically, and where does this team need to get to to be a tougher team? Yeah, um, this, game, this game takes a lot of toughness, and um, that's uh, one thing that we started off well. Um, we were a very tough team at the beginning. It showed in our defensive numbers, but uh, now we've kind of lost the identity of toughness and stuff like that. And I think we're I think we're a tough team, but we need to be uh, tougher, consistent, 
more consistently you know, across the board, across games, and stuff like that. So, um, I mean, overall, I think it starts in practice, um, competing in practice and bringing that, that edge to practice every day and making it a habit. I think that's where it starts. And um, I think these last couple of weeks, we've done a really good job of that. And um, like Coach Holman always says, I think if we consistently put good days together like that, it's going to form a habit and it will be, it will come as second nature out there.